don't really understand gambling. I don't get the thrill of losing money. I suppose it's like an adrenaline rush. Well, like being attacked by a lion or falling off a cliff. I know. Don't sound like fun to me. I'll best be off in a minute, but I'll summon. He's grieving. He's upset and confused. Well, you did a good thing there. And he might not think so now, but he'll thank you later. He won't thank me. No, he won't. In time? Ty, I tried to kiss him. What? I don't even know how it happened. One minute I was talking about my dad and how much I missed him, the next leaned in for a snog. Well, so what happened? Jason came in and stopped it. Well, I thought he wasn't that key. Well, it just came over me like a wave. I made a right fool of myself. Yeah, you did. All right, you don't need to agree, Ty. Yeah, but you know he likes you. Not anymore, not after this. I think you should talk to him. I think, right, I should dig myself a big hole and crawl in. Tell him how you feel. How many times have you told me to be honest about my feelings, eh? Yeah, well, that's you. It's different when it's me. I must be one of the most stupidest people on the planet. Men have been working out ways to deceive women for centuries. How can I not see what was going on? Because they've evolved a million strategies. Gambling. You're right. I've been conned. Did you thank me for the money for the pig? He never even asked where it was for. What? I was so mad that I went in and just started taking money out the till. He just gave it me. You told him that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I was just surprised that he trusted me. I know you might not want to hear this right now, but I think he's a good one. No. That's exactly what I want to hear. You hold on to him. I will. But you learn from me, yeah? You never trust him, you never turn your back on him, and you never give him an inch. You look cold. Jacket's inside. I'll go and get it for you. Probably part of a bonfire in the backyard by now. So what are you going to do? Still thinking. You're shivering. Come on, I'll pop the kettle on. You alright, mate? You eating? Not really hungry. Well, I can fetch some from the chippy if you want. It's okay. Mate, you gotta eat something, it's important. No, it's not. You didn't see what happened to Cena when her dad died. She just locked herself away. She didn't eat. She didn't go out. She was a real mess. And that's when, uh, well, when we split up. Couldn't help her. I tried to, but she kept pushing me away, so... Do me a favour and eat something. A biscuit, anything. Must be something wrong with me. Just been visiting my grieving family and all I can think about is Tina. Yeah, well, that's normal, I think. It's called, uh, Big Emotions, Easy to Get Confused. I'm not confused. I've always known she's the one I want. We'll talk to her then. How? It's the worst time in ever. She's been brilliant through all this. If I ask her now, it's like I'm taking advantage. Well, in a few days, I don't know. What do you think I should do? Eat something. Don't stop eating. All right. I never even wanted to come here, you know. The only reason we moved here was so she could see Leanne. Yeah, her daughter. Yeah, I know, but did she tell me that? Oh, no, big secret. Maybe she was ashamed of what she'd done. Oh, she should have talked to me. Yeah, like you talked to her about the gambling. Oh, very good. Didn't realise I was on the psychiatrist's couch. Sorry, but I do know a thing or two about not communicating with your partner. I mean, why am I here when Dev and the kids are in Mallorca? Do you think you split up? I don't know. Something's got to change, that's for sure. How about you? Uh, I can't see her taking me back. I mean, I know I got myself into this mess, but you heard what she said. Not exactly supportive. I'm not even sure I want to go back. Do you really think it's over? Yeah. I think I killed it this time. Are you sure you don't want a drink? No, I'll stick with me water. I can't afford it. Mind you, with the pub closed, at least that's not going to be a problem. Mm. Do you think it's 
course, for good. Don't know. But seeing what he's been up to puts my financial difficulties into perspective. Mm. Men, eh? <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for coming. Oh, I've heard the reason the roads is shut is because Stella's kicking everyone out. Why'd you do that? Apparently, a fella's been gambling all the money away, gone bankrupt. Right, what'd you drink? I've got white wine, it's wearing a wine now. It's okay, I'll get these, what do you want? No, it's all right, I'll get them. No, 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 um, pint? You go and keep your mum company. No, you keep your mum company, I'll get these. Well, I'm older than you. What's that got to do with anything? You've got to respect your elders, sit down. Oh. I was just... Yeah, me, me too. What, you, you went out? You coming in? No, I'm sorry, go on, go on, you go first. Oh, I was looking for you. Me too? Well, no, I was um, looking for you. But I'm sorry, I, I really need to say something. I need to say something No, no, let, let me, um... I love you. It was like she'd set a trap, you know, and I walked straight into it because she knew if she pushed me buttons that I'd kick off and I'd walk out. So what happens now? I don't know. Got a call, I suppose. Anyway, how was he? How was Simon? Brutal truth or the sugar-coated version? <sighs> the sugar. Oh, he was such a little angel. How bad was he? Uh, well... He's in bed, I've not opened a bottle, so we're making progress. Mm. Listen, I don't want you to worry, all right? There's no way Elian can take him. <sighs> but it's not her, it's the lawyers. We'll get better lawyers. Yeah, but good lawyers, they cost big money, you know. Ah, that won't be a problem. You see, I find myself a financial fairy godmother. Yeah? Yeah. Sally, she's not my ideal choice of business partner, but she'd secure a stable future for the business, wouldn't she? And well, then we could concentrate all our energies into making sure the little angel stays under our roof. Mm. I don't believe it. It could take years to pay all this lot back. That's if we don't lose the pop altogether. Oh, I can help. Yeah, and I'll do what I can and all. No. This is my problem. I picked him, I took my eye off the ball, he did this because I let him get away with it. And because men are rats. And we never learn. What are you gonna do? Right now. Get drunk. What about Carl? <laughs> oh, I know it sails close to the wind. That's why I fell for him. But this is as bad as it gets. This is taking away my dream. And yet all he's back in the morning begging forgiveness, swearing he loves me. But I don't think I can do this anymore. So, any regrets? No. You? Just one. Really? It took us so long to get here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's full that. Hey, don't start. <laughs> well, anything good's worth waiting for. Mm -hmm. He liked you. Him? Your granddad. I should go. I'm a total mess. You're not going anywhere. Don't even know what I'm doing here. You owe me 300 quid. I know. You told me you were desperate. When I phoned you, I could hear you were in the bookies. I'm sorry. I don't have money to throw away. I took it from the shop and you lost it all. Actually, I won. What? I was down to my last tenner. And then one gorgeous greyhound came through for me. Spent all afternoon in the bookies, and I broke even. You still gambled my money? Yeah. You're right. Here, take it back. If I have that in my pockets, I won't get past Barlow's bookies tomorrow morning. Now, 
really should go. Go where? Don't know. No use for anyone round here. Carl, look at me. I'm not going to let you run away. That was not the answer. You need help. We can get through this together. We? Yeah. Me and you. You can't do this alone. And whatever happens with Stella, you've still got me, okay? Why are you doing this? Because I care about you. And I believe in you. I gambled your money. Yeah, I know. But you need me. And I promise you, I'll never let you down. I can't let you... You don't know me very well. You can't stop me. So why don't you get yourself another beer? And I'll make up the bed on the sofa. I don't deserve you. Yes, you're guaranteed to know all the hits. This is Lionel Richie tonight at 10. Before that, a scary ghost from Donald's prison past is set to return to Benidorm. I've lost my keys. Can I Coronation Street is sponsored by Harvey's. Feel good furniture. This Easter Bank holiday weekend, there's an extra £100 off many beds in the Benson's for Beds half-price sale. Plus, there's interest-free credit on everything over £150 too. At Halfords, our Easter Bank holiday event is now on. This Castrol Magnatech oil is now only £17.50, our lowest ever price.